Please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Prince Harry claims that Omid Scobie's account of how Meghan Markle allegedly underwent unsparing kidnap training is all utter nonsense in his scathing memoir. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's friend published a book called Finding Freedom in 2020 which was based, in part, on briefings from a close friend of Meghan. Yet, Harry focuses his sights on Scobie's account in his book Spare, although he refrains from naming him. The Duke, or, more accurately, his American ghost writer Junior Moringer, writes, a best-selling book describes the day special forces came to our house, grabbed Meg, put her through several intense days of drills, pushing her into back seats and car boots, speeding away to safe houses. Indeed, Scobie's account claims, the training, which all senior members of the royal family except the Queen have completed at SARS HQ in Hereford, is preparation for all high-risk security scenarios, including kidnapping, hostage situations and terror attacks. Meghan took part in a staged kidnapping, where she was bundled into the back of a car by a terrorist, taken to a different location and then saved by officers firing fake guns, the kind used in Hollywood filming, for realism. Scobie continues, during the mock kidnapping, Meghan was even taught to develop a relationship with the enemy. She was also instructed on how to drive a car while in pursuit. A source said it was an extremely intense and scary experience for Meghan, but one that she was grateful to have gone through. Kate didn't undergo her training until after her wedding to William, but Meghan's took place earlier as the couple had received an unusually high number of threats. According to Harry, this is all utter nonsense. He writes that Meghan wasn't given one minute of training. On the contrary, the palace floated the idea of not giving her any security at all because I was now sixth in line to the throne. It comes after Scobie launched a staunch defense of spare arguing the prince was right to write his own story, just as King Charles and Diana both did. Writing in a column for Yahoo, Scobie criticized media coverage for casting the book, which details alleged fights with Harry's brother the Prince of Wales, as a tawdry tell all. He said, reading it from start to end tells a much more nuanced and layered story. One with heart as well as fire. He shared photographs of Prince Harry's comments on Afghanistan, in which he revealed he killed 25 Taliban members, saying, and this is why context matters. The Duke of Sussex has been accused of airing dirty laundry in public, but Mr. Scobie has once again supported the couple. Taking aim at the royal family's short-term memory loss, Meghan's trusted friend pointed to biographies of both Diana and Prince Charles written after their divorce. He went on to draw parallels between the press and public's response to then Prince of Wales King Charles' work. For Charles, the negative response from the British press and public was intense. Accused of ferociously attacking his family and disgracing the monarchy, newspaper polls and opinion pieces declared him unfit to be king and some journalists even suggested he should be stripped of his titles. Sounds familiar again, dot. He added, Harry has spent most of his life being written and talked about, a spare to the air whose darkest secrets, regretful moments and struggles have repeatedly been revealed to the world by a press with an insatiable appetite for him and his family, having never been able to share that life in his own words. It was inevitable the prince would want to put pen to paper the moment he stepped back from his role three years ago. But Mr. Scobie went further with public statements on his own social media, criticizing the media in a similar way to the Sussex's own comments in their tell-all docuseries on Netflix, Harry and Meghan. Discussing the series of revelations about Harry's time in Afghanistan, which included the revelation that he killed at least 25 Taliban militants and saw them as chess pieces to be removed from the board, rather than people, Mr. Scobie said, I'm anti-war, so any talk of killing is not for me. But it's wild to see how in 2013, papers called Harry, Hero Prince, Action Man, Swashbuckling Royal, when he spoke about killing Taliban insurgents. A decade on, and now the enemy, is attacked for repeating the same claim. In his tweets, Mr. Scobie continued, and this is why context matters. Hash spare may have leaked early but, as would be the case with any book, the tiny snippets being reported don't do the text justice. He then shared a leaked extract from the book, which detailed Harry's problematic army training to other eyes Taliban insurgents. Prince Harry wrote, Afghanistan was a war of mistakes, a war of enormous collateral damage, thousands of innocents killed and maimed, and that always haunted us. So my goal from the day I arrived was never to go to bed doubting that I'd done the right thing, that my targets had been correct, that I was firing on Taliban and only Taliban. He also described how helicopter technology allowed him to know exactly how many people he had killed, 
and that his kill count did not give him satisfaction, nor did it make him ashamed.